A man is dead after following, uh, falling from the sky ride at Lagoon Amusement Park in Farmington, Utah. Dramatic video showed the man hanging off the ride before he fell about 50 feet to the ground. Scenes like this are recorded by tourists at Lagoon every day the park is open. I took a video everywhere. I love everywhere, watching everywhere. Lucy Grace Estelia is visiting Utah and spent Saturday at Lagoon to celebrate a birthday. She was not prepared for what her camera was about to capture. My husband noticed there's some there's a guy uh, hanging on that uh, ride. What is doing like that? That's Lucy's voice, stunned at the sight of a man hanging from the sky ride. I'm thinking this is just a, a professional gymnast or a stunt. But that wasn't a professional. Just after leaving the view of the camera, the man fell. Farmington police say it happened around 6 o'clock Saturday. The initial investigation found the ride system and car did not malfunction. The Skyride has operated without incident since uh, 1974. Lagoon says the Skyride has a flawless safety record that dates back nearly 50 years. It's unclear how or why the man wasn't seated. Every ride has um, safety information printed and either recorded or said verbally. And those, you know, that safety information is, is for the safety of, of the guests. The incident is one that Lucy won't soon forget. Last night I was not able to sleep thinking of that man. I spoke with Dr. Douglas Goldsmith, a child psychologist. Hello. The video appears to show adults and children alike within an Hello. eye's view of the man. Dozens like Lucy witness the traumatic event. Many of the children from many of the adults over the coming week, they might find some sleep disturbance. They may find it very difficult to erase that image in their head. Um, we're going to become concerned if after weeks or months that is still an intrusive image. He urges parents of kids who are struggling with mental trauma to provide reassurance of theme park safety. We need to really talk about the fact that, you know, this wasn't a problem with the Ryder Lagoon. After the fall, the man was flown to University of Utah Hospital in critical condition, but died.